Hi, in this video, we will look at how to create frosted glass effects in Swift UI using the new foreground style modifier available in Xcode 13 and blend modes. For example, in this project, we have a translucent interface whereby the background is seen through each of the buttons. You cannot achieve this effect using the normal blur and opacity modifiers. So we are going to use the new foreground style modifier in Swift UI as well as blend mode. The technique you will learn in this video can be applied to create any of these designs you normally see on Dribble. So let's get started. In this project, we have 10 buttons placed on a blade background. If I remove the blade effect, this is how the image looks like. So in the latest release of Xcode, that is Xcode 13, you can create translucent effects whereby the background is seen through the foreground content. You can create the translucent effect in Swift UI using the foreground style modifier and passing a material background as the parameter. We will start by adding a hard light blend mode to each of the circles. Then we will go to the parent container containing all the buttons and add the foreground style modifier. Then we pass a material background as a parameter. So let's start with the first circle that is this circle over here. After the foreground color modifier, we are going to add blend mode. Then we will set the parameter blend mode to hard light. You can see over here, we now have the background seen through the circle. I will copy the blend mode modifier and paste it for the remaining circles. That is all the buttons. What we have to do next is to locate the parent container having all the content on the interface. That is this VStack. So let's go to where it ends. That ends over here. So we are going to apply the foreground style modifier to this VStack parent container. It takes the parameter style. So we are going to pass a background material as the style. It has different kinds, ultra thin material, regular material, or thick material. So we'll start with this one. We still see the background through each other buttons, but the text is not well visible. So let's change this to regular material. And this is better than the first one. To make the text more visible and stand out from the buttons, we are going to use an ultra thick material. So now the text is more visible and the background is seen through each of the buttons. So this is how to create frosted glass effects using blend mode and the new foreground style modifier available in Xcode 13. We can also rotate the hue of the background image. So here I'm going to remove the comment. And that works really well on different backgrounds. So you can use this technique to create any of the glass-like interfaces I showed from the Dribbble website. 